another thing is how much have i spent since i came here i'm going to talk about it in this video i've not spent anything i have not paid any bill okay the lights i'm using here free of charge okay and i'm going to explain that the water i'm using free of charge and i'll not be paying for the water anytime soon and this is why oh hello there welcome back again and thank you for joining me if you're new here hi welcome my name is lillian and i do hope that you enjoy your stay on my channel watch this video and if you enjoy watching the video go on ahead and hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification put it on under says all so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be notified um please don't forget to like the video and to you my OGs, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. So I recently moved out of um, Accra to another part. Where I was was not Accra, Accra like that. I was in a place in between Accra and Kaswa. Kaswa is the central region, right? And Accra is the greater Accra region. So I was in between. So, but then I was living in Accra from a distance, romancing Accra, having a feeling of Accra and all that. I rented that place when I knew little to nothing about life in Ghana. So I continued to live in the country and then I explore other parts of the country and I fell in love with almost everywhere I've been to. I felt like, okay, let me look elsewhere to live. It's going to be maybe easier for me a little bit. Maybe if not much, but at least by 10% as an adult, especially as a single mother. So that was how I looked elsewhere. And then I found this beautiful apartment here on the internet. So, and then I located the place and I rented it. And here I am living here. And I have not paid for electricity since I came. I have not paid for water bills since I came. And I'm not gonna be paying for the water. In this video, I'm going to explain why. All you have to do is like the video, all right? That's all, I'm period. So it's been one whole week. The first few days I came here was a struggle. My kids cried, especially Praise and Antonia. They didn't like the place, but I knew why. For them, it was the entertainment box, the DSTV. And of course, we have moved from that beautiful environment to a place that is strange to them. So I knew I was gonna make them fall in love, but myself, who will make me love this place? I didn't know who and how I was going to fall in love with here and be able to live here. It was so bad that I called my other, my former apartments in Accra, telling them I want to come back. They should preserve my apartment for me. That was how bad it was. But then I remember them asking me, are you safe? And I said, yes. So what's the problem? And I said, I don't know. I just want to come back. They said, okay, even if my apartment is no longer available, they will hook me up with another anytime I'm ready. So I should just take my time, think about it and look around. Maybe there's something I'm yet to experience that will make me love my new environment. And I think they were absolutely right. I called my agent and I told her, get someone to come rent here. I am moving. And then so I can get my money back and move. I was home alone with my kids and then my youngest baby fell asleep and then the whole environment became so quiet. Exactly how I love it. It was noiseless, neighborhood was calm, just so peaceful. And there's this peace that descended on me. And then I said, okay, I'm going to leave here. I love it. So that was how I fell in love with this place. And I'm glad I'm here for a whole one week. The part that a lot of adults are interested in, I know it, that's me not paying any bill living here. Yes, the electricity, I met it here. My landlord had this already. What happened is the first day I... My former uh, environment has, has physical security men on guard. They have CCTVs. They have the cleaners who clean your window from outside. They have, and they, they sweep your compound, keep everywhere tidy. They have a lot of people, both black and white. We have a lot of foreigners and indigenous people of Ghana living in that environment. So it's a mixed place. It's more of an, an international, international neighborhood. But here, I live in an indigenous environment where a lot of families are living i mean you will see elderly man with his wife and kids grandkids yeah that's the kind of environment i live with the indigenous people of this part of ghana do you understand surrounding my apartments you see houses built by families all right you hardly see foreigners around except for this my beautiful apartment 
I can see that a lot of um, people that are not Ghanaians are also coming to rent. So yeah, should that make sense? You get it. That's what I mean. So here and there, it's not the same. So we coming here, we're lonely and afraid because we don't know if <laughs> like. This is the only house here for rent. The other houses, maybe you're renting, you know, I don't know if they are for rent or not, but I've not really seen strangers, foreigners around like that, all right? Like I did see in my previous environments, to get it. Uh, so another thing is here, since I came here, I have not paid any bill. So this light I'm using here, free of charge, and I'll tell you why. So, but before we get to that part, I just want to give my landlord a round of applause. When I came in here a few days, like, I was supposed to move, like, two days later. I came two days before my moving in day to see if the place was ready so I can move. So, on getting here, they have painted this place with a beautiful yellow color. And it looks amazing. Let's say butter. I don't know if there's any color like butter color. So it looks amazing, but I didn't like it. I want my background white. So I called my landlord and I said, sir, I go here and they have painted the place yellow. I do not hate it. It's beautiful, but I like white. I'm a content creator. I've not even finished talking. He said, oh, okay. You want it white? And I said, yes, please. And he said, okay, don't worry. I will call them to fix that for you. They'll repaint it and paint it white for you isn't he amazing all right few days later because i didn't have time to come back here to travel down here go back home or and i didn't call the man to ask if you know it's going to be sounding weird and rude that is in my own opinion eh, eh, sir, that um apartment have you painted so i didn't do that i just moved my things and my family and i got here opened the door it was so pleasant surprise for me they have repainted it white it kept to his word all right i was so happy when i came and i saw the white paint you know being redone only the kitchen they didn't do which is cool i understand the kitchen area shouldn't even be white especially for a family person like me to get it so um i have not paid any bill okay the light i'm using here free of charge okay and i'm going to explain that the water i'm using free of charge and i'll not be paying for the water anytime soon and this is why so when i came here the the two days before my moving day i pick up my prepaid card and i went with it bought electricity but up till now i still have it in my in, in my bag somewhere i've not used it because my landlord here is so amazing that he bought electricity i don't know how much light it bought i have been using the light for a whole one week i'm yet to touch mine so i'm not paying any bill do you understand and water i've not paid water bill and i won't be paying any anytime soon this is why um here is a brand new apartment brand new bu building nobody have lived here in fact even the fencing is ongoing a lot of things are ongoing here the other apartments are still under construction like the interior are being done like painting and tiling and the pop and all that is under construction so this place i'm the first person to move in here and when i came there was no water yet ghana water have not been linked to this apartment but everything is ready the machines if you go to the other part of the house you will see that everything is there ready the, the poly tank everything is ready the machine that will be pumping the water all these things are ready but what is not ready is them linking it to this building all right so they are waiting for people to move in then they can link it so the bee can start reading so you can understand so how do i get water lily you're talking too much all right so my landlord ordered for water for me from the water company we have private water companies in ghana in case you do not know all right so he called them to bring water for me and he paid for the first poly tank for me like the first one that they have brought for me so that means that if this one finish i should have sense enough to buy the water with my money that is if by then the ghana water has not been linked so i, I will buy my water i'll order the same way my landlord order i'll order for them to bring me water and i'll pay with my money so that is what i mean by i'm not paying any bills yet until later to understand so that's so sweet of him i'm using free light free water 
I wish there's free school fees, okay? So that is that for now. Uh, my new environment is quiet, though I didn't know there was there is a mosque around here where Muslims pray, and also there's a church behind my house. So you know what that means. All right. So, but these are things I will be expecting the, uh, the noise that will come out from the prayer. It's not a bad noise. It's not a bad sound. The sound, not noise. Please don't come for me. Oh, I'm a Christian too. I believe in God. I'm a believer. So the sound that the people, both religion, will be making when they are praying to God, yeah, it will be coming here. But that will not be every day. It's just gonna be. It's just gonna be. It's just gonna be from time to time, some specific days of the week and time of the day. So I already know what to expect. And then if you want to know how the cost of living here is, I am yet to go to the market to buy anything. From my house to the market is two CD, 50 pesos, and to the market. And that market has a lot. They sell a lot of, thing, uh, a lot of things over there. And uh, then from there to the house, about three cities. So if I'm going to have like, I need six city takes me to the market and bring me back. But I've not gone to the market to say, oh, I want to buy this. How much is this? Not yet. That is because before I moved in here, I went to the market, cooked a lot of things and had it stored in my freezer with the hope that anywhere we go, when the thing is froze, by the time I bring it out for them to load the items, before we get to our destination, it will not melt, it will not spoil. Even if it's melt, it will still be good. I can have it put back in the freezer because I don't know this place. I don't know anybody. I left my customers in Accra behind, my tomato seller, my Nigerian food vendor, my pharmacy woman, my grocery store customer. I left all these people behind, so I didn't know where I was going. So I wanted to take my... I want to take some time to get to understand my environment before going through the stress of wanting to cook or wanting to buy anything. So I arrange all these things before coming. So we are still eating uh, food that we came with from the other house. I've not officially done anything yet. It's okay. I know the cost of living here or not. All right. So that is that for now. Okay. Security, right? Here I tell my kids to lock the door a lot. All right. I know my security, my safety is not in my hands. It's in the hands of God Almighty. I believe in the security of God Almighty on me and my children. So I tell them to lock the door. I train them to do that even in the former house where it seems to be very populated, crowded, and you know it's hard for a thief to break in through your door or window to steal anything. But yeah. I'm trying my best teaching my girls where to place our things, you know, to avoid the window side until I get to know this environment very well. Yeah, the CCTV, uh, interlocking, all that, all of that, all of that will be done, but not now because this place is still under construction. I wasn't supposed to come here at the time I came. I was supposed to come here in June, all right, next month, but I woke up one day. I thought it was going to be easy to convince my former place to allow us stay for a while with time we move here so when i paid for this place i made packed payments i didn't tell my landlord i was going to move in immediately because i thought the other place would allow me you know um stay for a while but when the whole thing didn't turn up go on well i had to call this man immediately and tell him okay i was able to you know get money borrow money to complete the rent and they just have to move like that because things didn't go as planned and i don't have more money to continue to pay for that place for the current price until we come here so when i came in here he wasn't prepared but he still managed to fix the place for us to stay yeah we're happy all right so what again do i have to say for now nothing just stay tuned a lot of people want to know where i am and the reason i've not tell you is because the people that I want to tell already know where I live in Ghana, the part of Ghana I live. But people I'm not ready to tell. Even if you ask me, I won't tell you. The ones that come and tell me, I want to visit you. Do you think I'm in kindergarten? I want to visit you. How do I get to your place? Which part of place are you? How do I see you? Really know these things. And now money and okay, but I guess since I'm very smart, but I don't have money. All right. You understand? So when you're asking me because you care, I know. When you're asking me because you want to know, I know. 
all right so when i want to tell the whole world i'll tell you but then you get to know about people that i want to tell already know where i live all right okay so period all right thank you so much um thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye